thanks for joining us. Today is the second day of Black History Month, and we're furthering that legacy through education today. I have with me Pastor Greg Oliver and Mr. Calvin Lester from Mount Canaan Baptist Church. Tell me what sparked this idea to have this HBCU fair. Well, one of the things that we have always been at our church about is about education. Uh, since Pastor Oliver has been with us, he has been preaching to us the four C's. And the fourth C is um, Christian empowerment and using Christian empowerment to change your environment and change the world. And as an HBCU graduate, and he's an HBCU graduate, we understand that the, the transformative power of those colleges and institutions. And so um, we just wanted to, to bring some of those schools to Shreveport to give our students an opportunity to be exposed to the transformational power of our colleges and our universities. And for people who don't know Pastor Oliver, do you mind explaining a little bit about HBCUs? What does HBCU stand for and why is the legacy so important? I think HBCUs have been very vital to the growth and the transformation of our communities. Um, the, the relationships that are developed uh, at these universities um, last and span after graduation. You know, we have, um, I have friends now that I, I've not seen in years, but we talk often on the phone and, and uh, I mean, it's, 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 it spans beyond. There's so much education outside of the classroom mm -hmm. at an HBCU. <laughs> um, and uh, what I remember about, uh, about my, one of my experiences at Alcorn State University was our president then, Walter Washington, um, the chief of police, who I, whose name s slips in my memory, the postmaster, and the head of the custodial staff would sit out under a tree whenever the president was in, you know, on campus, and they would drink coffee almost every morning. <laughs> and, uh, and man, that, that was just to see these men, that was so powerful to me. You know. Yes. Now, Mr. Lee, could you tell me who is welcome to attend this event? Sure, sure, sure. This is open to the entire Shreveport Bossier Architects community. Uh, we have invited a number of historically black colleges and universities, um, and we have reached out to the schools in Kettle Parish. We are excited about them participating. Uh, schools in Bossier. We're going to have some folks from DeSoto, as well as as far away as Lincoln Parish, that are coming. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're just excited about giving these, uh, our young people an opportunity to be exposed to these colleges. Uh, more often than not, in our community, we have to bring the students to the campus. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be an opportunity to have, and I think we have about 15 confirmed thus far, that are actually gonna be uh, in, on our campus uh, at, at uh, Mount Canaan, and the students will be able to ask all the questions they want. You know, the, you might talk about your dream institution. I, I'm wearing my colors. That's my institution, <laughs> Southern University. I'm very proud Southernite. But, um, you know, you can ask all the questions you want. And there are several schools that have indicated that they're going to be given scholarships on site. Uh, if you want to be admitted, you will be admitted on site. So I'm really That's excited that. about the opportunity to expose these institutions to our students. And so it doesn't matter if you're a senior or a junior or a freshman. If you are a high school student, we want to see you there. Yeah. Okay, yes. and how do students need to come prepared for the event and give us the details, time, location? So the, the location is the Mount Canaan Baptist Church in our Norma J. Blake uh, Community Center, 1664 Austin Street here in Shreveport, Shreveport Suite 7101. Uh, all they need to do is show up. Uh, now, we have registration, which is on site. It costs you nothing. Uh, all we're asking the students to do is if they have a, a phone device, they can register on site. They, you know, do the QR code, the kids love the technology. That will allow them to register and give their information to the colleges so that after they move around uh, and have a good e uh, time at the event, the schools can reach out to them and give them more information about their institutions. So mm -hmm. all they really need to do is show up. And, and everything else will be taken care of. But we are very excited about the opportunity. What a great way of furthering black history by including students in our historically black colleges and yes, universities. Well, thank you all so much for your time. Thank you. For thank you us. for having us.